Okay, let's get into it. The first makeup tutorial of 2022. Really my first makeup tutorial ever, okay? Understood? Yes, okay, my first ever makeup tutorial. I'm so happy to say that. But we are going in by starting off with priming the eyelid. And of course, I'm priming with a lighter concealer shade than my actual concealer. This is medium beige and my LA Girl Pro Concealers. This is way lighter than my actual concealer color and my skin tone. We are using something light. That way our pigments show up because we are using several different pigments today. Pinks and purples and a shimmer. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned. Watch the entire thing. My giveaway announcement will be made in this video. So stay tuned. So James Charles Morphe palette. And we're using these shades right here. All of those. So we have a soft pink, we have a hot pink, purple, fuchsia, some glitters. That's what we're using for this, okay? The second palette we will be using, my Juvia's Place. Very pretty. And we're gonna be using this shade right here. So, you can use something similar if you don't have them, guys. I love you, I love you, I love you. So we're gonna start with the wing. This is just what I do first. And we're using that deepest purple shade. And we're gonna create this wing. Okay, getting straight into it guys. I'm gonna bring you a little closer. First, I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Smudge Liner Brush. This brush is perfect for smudge eyeliner looks or if you're packing black onto your eyeliners, you're gonna get the best payoff this way. And I'm packing on that deepest purple shade, that like plum rich purple from the James Charles palette. I'm using that first so I can go ahead and map out how I want my cr cut crease to be. This is just how I did it. You do not have to do your liner first, but again, I wanted to map out this eye look and I want it to be symmetrical with the other eye. So next, I will be going in with a small elf crease brush this is an eye crease brush but as you can see i went above my crease i do have hooded eyes so this just complements my eye shape a little better and you can actually see my shadows when i blink or close my eyes now i'm going into that fuchsia color and then i'm going to go in with my aoa studio brush the e130 and i'm taking that neon pink color right on top of that fuchsia now you may say this might make your colors look muddy but this is why you prime your eyes and use the base first so you can get the best payoff I'm putting that neon pink right on top of the fuchsia and you're going to see me go back and forth with these two colors just to make sure that blend is seamless. I'm using that fuchsia and then I'm also going to take my AOA Studio brush in E127. This brush right here is more fluffy and less dense and I'm using that baby pink to blend and diffuse that hot pink. So I'm going back and forth with those three colors to get the perfect seamless blend. Babes, please don't be afraid of colors. I love experimenting with colors. With colors, of course, you have to make sure your blend is effortless. You want to make sure that you have no harsh lines, you're diffusing everything. Now, you can lightly use a brush based on how you place it in your hand and things of that nature. But me, I'm very heavy handed sometimes, especially with myself. So just make sure you're being very gentle and taking your time and blending these colors. Blending is is key with dramatic looks like this and any colors you want to make sure your payoff is actually paying off you're getting great pigment and quality looks even if you're using drugstore products now I will make any corrections if I see them or if I make any mistakes I do make mistakes I am human we all are of course that's what makeup remover is for and I keep cotton swabs on hand and q-tips guys you will see me go in with concealer and sometimes i have to wipe off the entire look it is what it is what it is you know it, mistakes do happen but it's how you come back from them so now i'm going back in with that smudge eyeliner brush and i'm going in with that deepest purple now we're going to deepen up this crease and i'm just going to go back and forth with that deep purple and that fuchsia and actually build up my crease and build up my deepest shades. So 
So once I get that blend to my liking or the best that I'm going to get it, I make sure that I put it in the shape of how I want my cut crease to go. And I'm using my P. Louise base in the Rumor Zero Shade. And I'm using another Real Techniques brush, as you can tell. I obviously love them. I'm using their Small Detailer brush from the Orange set. I like a smaller brush when it comes to precise cut crease, just because this is another flat brush of mine that I have. I know it's on the smaller side, but you can substitute any colors as far as the shadows and any brushes that I use with the bigger brush or a smaller brush, whatever works for you guys. If you choose to recreate this look, make sure you tag me on any of my social media handles or of course IG. I love to see you guys' work and I hope you enjoy this video. Make sure you give it a big like for me. Anyways, I'm going to just cut this crease following the shape that I've already mapped out, trying to avoid the liner. But again, if I make any mistakes, I will go back over them. And you will see me go back into those shadows if I, again, make any mistakes or if I feel like my cut crease is missing or lacking color. Just because I love symmetry when it comes to a good dramatic eye. So I'm going to make sure both of my eyes look the same or try to, of course. Now I'm going into my Juvia's Place, the Saharan palette, and I'm using this rose gold kind of color. And I'm using a Wet n Wild flat brush. This brush is very small. The hairs are very dense and flat. And I use this to pack on my shimmers and metallic shadows, guys. So I'm now packing that shadow right onto that base that I just cut the crease with. And this color is amazing, guys. I loved how this turned out with these colors. It just gave it the best pop that I could give it. Of course, I was going to go gold or do silver. Now you can substitute this with any glitters or anything like that if you just want to be very bold but I chose to do another shimmer for you guys and again I just think these complement each other so well and I'm just going to fix any small details that I see and make sure that my lines are very crisp and everything using the cotton swab so now I'm taking my LA girl well, my LA Colors Metallic Eyeliner, and this is the Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Lavender. And I'm just going to do a small little liner right over this um, rose gold color or like maroon rose gold color. I'm just taking a little of it, like where I would place my white or in the other look that I did where I placed the gold liner. Of course, again, you can substitute this for any color. I think white would be really pretty right here, but we're just lining the top of the cut crease just to give a little more dimension and accent those colors, of course. And that is all I'm doing with this, guys. I'm not using it for anything else. So now we're getting into the fun glitz and glam. I love glitters and rhinestones and gems. So I'm taking my Amazon Jewels and I'm taking my Lash Duo Glue, okay? I only use clear adhesives when it comes to my lashes, guys. And this glue just makes anything stick. Your fluffy glitters, big glitters, chunky glitters, everything. So I'm using this to adhere those gems. And what I do to one side, I do to the other, I believe, in symmetry, guys. I love when things are symmetric, so I'm making sure what I do to one side, I do to the other. And I'm just placing five stones going up, down, up, down. So picking the lowest point of my cut crease and then where I did the blend at the top. And I'm just using my handheld mirror by AOA to make sure that I'm aligning those diamonds in the exact same spot on both sides. I didn't want anything to be off balance. <laughs> And I'm just big on symmetry, guys. I'm a perfectionist, so I would have took a stone off <laughs> if it was wrong. That's just me. But this glue does dry down clear. Keep that in mind. If you use the same glue, you know. So I had to kind of move my head in different angles and positions so I can see where I placed the glue. And then I just tap the rhinestone to make sure it doesn't fall off or anything like that to make sure that it's secure. Okay guys, so now we're going into my highlighting and contouring. To highlight, I use my L16 Hour um, Camo Concealer in Deep Olive. And then I also use my LA Pro, you know, Concealer in Medium Beige. To contour, I'm using another LA Girl. And I'm using Mahogany. And guys, I also love another Holy Grail by e.l.f. I use their cream contour palette and I use that deeper shade. As you can see, I hit the pan and I'm taking my buffing brush. This is another Real Techniques brush. I put that on the back of my hand 
blend it out tap it into the brush and then tap it onto the skin guys so this is kind of my nose foundation foundation look that i've been using um as far as a technique i do use a little foundation which you will see later this is another real techniques brush <laughs> guys I, I love real techniques i will tell you i do this is my juvia's place foundation jack Mel, and i only use a little of it guys because the foundation is going to help with the blend as far as where my highlighter and bronzer meet and it just looks so seamless it looks airbrushed when the look is completely finished and again with blending you have to just be precise and take your time blending sometimes does take a while especially especially if you layer concealers like i do so you may see me place one concealer i definitely go with my elf first and then i go back into my la girl and layer that next so i hope you guys enjoy this i'm just gonna let you watch me blend I love you guys if I have not said it enough already throughout this video I never really contoured my nose until maybe this year and I love how this looks right here I kind of do a reverse contour of course I already blended my concealer the first shade with my LA girl but now I am blending my cream contour from that elf palette and I'm using a very small eyeshadow brush to do so and I'm going through a lot of setting spray. This is going to help my makeup last all day. Trust me. I'm using a beauty blender just to make sure that my nose is gorgeous when I'm done with this. Okay, that concealer does get a little tacky when you don't, you know, go ahead and blend it right away. And that's what I like. I like to let my concealer dry down a little bit and then go in with a damp sponge. And that is what I'm doing here. I'm blending my foundation and concealer that I have on my face left and remaining with that sponge, guys. And this is going to help everything blend seamlessly. So now I'm going into my LA Girl Pro Concealer in medium beige. This is way lighter than my concealer color. It doesn't have any, you know, warm neutrals or undertones, which I do have. So this is just great when I layer my LA Girl underneath. And I don't really let this one dry down too much. I just go straight in with my Beauty Blender. And this is just going to give me a brighter under eye and highlight those moments even more than my concealer already did previously. Okay guys, now we're getting into bronzing. I'm using my e.l.f. Another Holy Grail. I have hit the pan on my deep bronzer palette and my AOA Perfect Setting Powder. I use this in banana. Oh my God, I can't believe y'all saw it, but it didn't want to stay in my hand today, but I use this powder to bake. So anywhere you see me place a cream or a liquid foundation concealer or anything of that sort, you're going to see me bake or set it with the powder and I'm using my sponge for this as well. So first I'm going to do a very thin layer and this layer is like my barrier or my protection layer. Okay, so this is going to help with any flashback to prevent flashback. You need that barrier layer and I'm just going in and sitting everywhere that I highlighted or placed concealer to brighten using my banana powder first and then I also go in with the second layer and that layer is what I'm going to use to bake and then I press and brush this away guys I don't leave this on but maybe two to three minutes I don't really let it sit for too long because I don't like flashback and I love taking pictures so I don't want to see any you know aftermath I want it to look seamless and airbrushed Okay, so for bronzing, okay, I see a mistake first. Um, it was some eyeshadow or something on the diamond rhinestone, so I just used a makeup wipe to get that off. For bronzing, I love this deep bronzing palette by e.l.f. guys. You can see I hit the pan, but I use the deepest shade, then I use all the other shades as well, just because they have glitter and gold flakes in them, and I love them. Now with bronzer and contour, make sure you blend up. If you don't contour every day, of course, I suggest that you bronze because it just brings back warmth and color to your face. If you use a brighter or lighter concealer, of course, you want to bronze. I love using eyeshadow and, you know, blushes. So I used that orange shade in the Juvia's Place palette for blush. And now we're dusting off any powders, of course. Like I said, I don't let it sit for too long. Two, three minutes tops. 
and guys this is looking great already okay we're looking chiseled and giving cheekbones now for my lash i use my duo glue and i'm going with a pair of amazon lashes i'll leave them linked in the description box if i can find them but i love this lash i love a good wispy lash lashes just make a look go from uh to yes okay because now she is giving what she was supposed to give she understood the assignment you know just uh, very much chef's kiss i love how this turned out i love the colors purple is my favorite color this is giving very much valentine's day date night girl i was feeling it and you can tell so for the lips today guys i'm going in with one of my favorites i'm using my wet and wild dark brown pencil you can use eyeliner you can use lip liners guys they all do the same job i'm following the natural shape of my lips i love how full my lips are and i'm going to take that product also in my inner corners for a great blend and end result i'm using my maybelline new york lifter glosses today these are my favorites and i'm using the shade reef first and i'm just going to pack this in the middle of my lip and blend it with that brown pencil and then i'm going to be taking the shade petal which is this pretty pink with like gold glitter in it guys i love these so much 10 out of 10. so thank you guys so much you have made it to the memphis local babe giveaway announcement so this announcement is specifically for my memphis located babes i do apologize i don't want you guys to feel unequal you are all equal to me i'm just located in the memphis area and this giveaway specifically i can only dedicate to you guys this is my hometown and it's where i reside as of right now so this giveaway will be a one-on-one -on -one makeup session with me kayla elmara so if you're interested pay attention i will give you guys the rules in this video and you must follow them to a t to enter to win this giveaway so i will be giving away a one-on-one -on -one makeup session with myself this will be a get ready chit chat advice giving networking makeup session so if you're interested these are the rules to win the flyer will be overlaid over this clip all you have to do is like this instagram post right here make sure you like this post this post has multiple shots of this look and my flyer for this giveaway so i need you guys to go on my instagram if you're not already following me on my socials it will be down below in the description box make sure you're following me on my ig so you guys have to to enter to win you have to like this instagram post right here share this instagram post to your story and also tag three friends three babes down below underneath that picture i need you to tag three babes and a brief reason why you enjoy makeup or why this one-on-one -on -one session will be appreciated by you why do you think you deserve to win i just want to know what motivates you guys why you enjoy makeup if you enjoy makeup what inspires you to do makeup what encourages you to do makeup does makeup make you feel beautiful just a little brief description a little paragraph that's all i love makeup and i would love to share this experience with anyone else who enjoys makeup as much as i do or who just wants to learn how to do their own makeup and then i also need you to like this video right here that you are watching like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not already make sure you turn the subscribe button gray because we don't like red over here and that is everything when you are posting this or sharing this to your Instagram story, make sure that you tag me. And if you decide to recreate this look way before the giveaway is closed, make sure you tag me on Instagram. I love you guys. Good luck to you all. There will be many more giveaways, so please don't feel discouraged. You will get another opportunity. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.